In this video, I want to show you how we can deal with using dates that come across in the JSON date time format, which looks very different when the SQL format has a T in it. So what we can do is use the uh, query editor within Excel to handle those dates. So I'm going to go into data. I'm in Excel 2016 and under get and transform, I'm going to go to new query other sources and from the web. So I'm going to go extract my JSON data and I'll paste in the URL link and I'll click OK. And of course my query editor opens on another window. There we go. Okay, and because it's um, JSON, the first thing I have to do is just convert it to a table. So I'll do that. And in case you're wondering, this is payables transaction information. And there, I'll just leave the defaults and click on OK. Now I have my data here. I just need to explode it out, so I'll click on the double-headed arrow. There are all my columns. If you ever need to do this, make sure you unmark, use original column name as prefix. Otherwise, vendor class will be called column1.vendor class column one dot voucher number and so forth. And I don't want to see that column one or I'd have to rename it. All right, so here's my uh, GP payables data. And you'll notice that the date, let me click on it here so you can see it. It looks a little bit odd. This is normal JSON date time format. So it handles the date, handles the time, and it handles the time zone actually as well. The query editor can handle this. Now Excel does not like it in this format, but the query editor in Excel or the query editor in Power BI, either one, all you have to do is right mouse click, choose change type, and you'll either need to go straight to a date time or a date time zone. So I'm going to choose a date time here. Now likewise, you could also highlight the column and under the home tab, you could select it from here as well. Now, if I want this to exclude the time format, although Excel will read this now with as a date time, what I can do is um, at this point, I can right mouse click and highlight transform and choose date only. But if I were to go back and try to automatically now change this as a date, I'm going to get an error message. And that's because when it's doing the applied steps, it doesn't quite know what to do or it puts out, it says, oh, wait a minute, you just changed that. Maybe you meant to go to date in the first place. And so I'm going to get rid of that step and we're back to the T. So this time I'll do it from up here and I'll choose, um, what the heck, I'll choose date time zone. So you can see the field is a little bit different. It has the time zone in it as well. Today I'm in California, so you could see it's got the minus eight. I'm going to highlight that, right mouse click, and then I'm going to under transform, show the date only. <coughs> now, if I wanted to, I could have gone through and I've got the date changed here. I could have come up and just changed the name of my column. And then at this point, now I have a different step in between the change types. I can now right mouse click and change this to a date only field. So there are two different ways you can do it. You could either under transform, just show the date only, or perform another step so it gets in the applied step window, and then I could go through and change it. Now, if I choose to uh, chosen load, my data will move into Excel, and you could see my date column is just a date. Hope this helps.